issue was that we didn't have a garden in our school. We also weren't really aware of environmental issues going on at the time and we lacked organic food in our school lunches. So we decided to build a club where we could all come together with the same goal which was to educate one another on environmental issues, introduce organic food and lunches, um, build a new garden in our new school building and collaborate with um, other schools that are doing the same thing and with that we were able to collaborate with Stephen Ritz. It started with um, a TED Talk video um, from Stephen Ritz. He is a teacher in the Bronx and he is the founder of the Green Bronx Machine. And so we found out that he was going to speak at American University for this Green Summit. And the group of people who were interested in bringing an environmental club to Washington Line decided to go to the Green Summit and listen to Stephen Ritz. From that, we were very motivated uh, with what he did in the Bronx and with his students and how he shaped learning to also collaborate with um, the community and the environment that we decided to come up with an idea to bring those towers into our school. We were very fortunate to win a grant from QFI which allowed us to buy products to build the towers and collaborate with Stephen Ritz and his students. Steve Ritz came to our school and we were just really interested to learn more about um, how we can start a garden at our school and be more environmentally friendly. And so he came to our school with some of his students from High Leadership Charter School in the Bronx, New York. And um, I was really amazed to see how his students just knew all about this tower vertical green gardens. And it was really interesting. It was something that we really wanted to have in our school. So Steve Ritz helped us to build the gardens and the tower gardens. And now we have three. The structure is pretty much at the bottom. There's this big jug and it contains water and chemicals which is then used to be pumped up to the top of the tower and from there the water sprinkles on the roots of the plants. The plants are placed in this um, plastic cup with, um, that exposes like holes in it so that the water can enter and inside the cups will be like a uh, rock formation or, which is, is a replacement of soil and inside that are the seeds. So the hydroponic towers um, don't contain any soil which is pretty neat because they're really easy to manage. So now we have towers around the school that are growing tomatoes, they're growing cucumbers, basil, and lettuce. We wanted to start out the environmental club because we were moving into a new building and like in our old building we couldn't really do things that we wanted to do so with this new building we thought well we should make the we should make a change and do something environmental so um, we decided to start the club and we decided to get in touch with Stephen Ritz and um, start Tower Gardens and kind of like bring the community in to basically show that you know we want to make a change and the change that we're gonna make like even after the seniors leave we can it's going to be an environmental club here and we feel like it's going to keep going.